the difference between simple and compound interest compounded annually on a sum of money for 3 years at 10% per annum is rupees 93 the sum in rupees is here 10% is the rate of interest for both simple and compound interest 10% means 10 by 100 that is equal to 1 by 10 so 1 unit is the interest out of 10 unit principal now take the ratio between principal and amount here principal is equal to 10 parts for 1 year and amount is equal to principal plus interest that is 10 plus 1, 11 parts for 1 year. Now number of years is equal to 3 years. So take the cube of 10 parts and 11 parts. Now 10 cube is equal to 1000 and 11 cube is equal to 11 cube is equal to 11 square into 11 that is 121 into 11. 121 into 11 is equal to Write 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, write 1. So, 1331 is the 11 cube. Now, take the difference between principal and amount. Here, principal is 1000 parts and amount is 1331 parts. So, difference is equal to 331 parts. This is in ratio. So, we need to write parts here. So, here compound interest for 3 years is equal to 331 parts. Now we need to find out simple interest. Simple interest for 3 years. Here rate of interest is 10 percentage. So 10 percentage for 3 years is equal to 30 percentage. So 30 percentage of the principal is simple interest for 3 years. Here principal is equal to 1000 parts, 1000 parts. We need to write parts because this is in ratio. So here, percentage and double zero get cancelled. 30 into 10 parts is equal to 300 parts. That is, simple interest for 3 years is equal to 300 parts and compound interest for 3 years is equal to 331 parts. Now, take the difference between 331 parts and 300 parts which is equal to 31 parts. So, 31 parts in the question is given as 93 rupees. That is difference between simple interest and compound interest is 93 rupees. So, here 31 parts is the difference in ratio but actual difference is 93 rupees. So, write it. That is 31 part is 93. That means 1 part is equal to 31 goes 3 times in 93. 1 part is equal to 3. If 1 part is 3, here we need to find out sum in rupees. Here sum is equal to 1000 parts which is equal to 1 part is equal to 3. So 3000 is the original sum. So option C is your answer.